Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. All right guys, well we're back to talk about some scandal drama because Lala Kent is detailing when she found out that the cameras were picking back up. She's also talking about Ariana's meltdown pre-Scandaval. Scandaval, being Sandoval himself, is joking about the affair in one of his live shows, which read the f***ing Rome, bro. And also, Sheena had Peter Madrigal, Peter Sir Manager, on her podcast, and he is talking about a text that was sent to him from Sandoval about Raquel as soon as the premiere came out. What the hell is actually going on? I don't know, but we're about to get to the bottom of it. So guys, before we jump in, if you guys haven't already, go ahead, smash that like. Just do all the YouTube things and let's jump right in. Love you. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys. So we have a lot to talk about, lots to discuss, especially when it comes to Scandaval. And it's like... Why? Why does this stuff keep coming out? I don't know, but we're here to talk about it. Actually, before we do, can I just bring up the video really quick that I'm talking about so we can get that out of the way? Hold on. Here it goes. From Scumdival. Asking about you hooking up with Rachel. It was after he saw the first episode, he texted you and was like, did yes. you guys actually f Okay, so... I'm in complete euphoria because euphoria. I celebrate Gasparilla. It's like Mardi Gras, you dress like a pirate. Yeah, I get it. So anyway, I'm getting off the plane, take my phone off of airplane mode, mm -hmm. and the first text that comes up, bing, bing. it's uh, Tom Sandoval. Oh. Dude, exclamation point. Just watched the first episode, LOL, exclamation point. Did you bang Raquel that night after sir, exclamation point, question mark, laughing crying emoji this guy never sends me laughing LOL, crying emoji. laughing crying emoji the text from scumdival asking about you so the lol laughing crying emoji was pretty much scumdival saying or asking peter did you hook up with raquel because she's telling me that you did not and because we're starting our relationship off in the middle of an affair there is already no trust here so instead of asking her and believing her because i'm sure he already did and she said no i never had sex with peter i don't trust that woman you want to know why because we're already having a full-blown affair and she's lying to my girlfriend who is her best friend who we've been together for 10 years so i don't trust her ass so i'm asking you now but please don't say anything i'm just asking for a friend scum of all no 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 it doesn't make sense girl let's move on hold on so lala kent says that ariana maddox had a meltdown about her relationship pre scandal anyways thank you to page six for mentioning it all lala kent is claiming that Ariana Maddox had a meltdown after she questioned Tom Sandoval's motives in last week's episode of Banner Pump Rules prior to his affair being exposed. Hmm. When I bring it up, Ariana gets furious to the point where production steps in because she says, I'm not doing this. Production always tries to do this to my relationship. And that's what Lala said on her Give Them Lala podcast. Lala was referring to a conversation that she had with both Ariana and Sandoval in which she caught him lying about not being able to leave a party to comfort his then-girlfriend upon learning of her grandmother's death. Mm -mm -mm. I want to say it before, or I want to say it was before Tom came in and that cameras went down because she was very upset that I was bringing this up. Very. She admitted that as soon as she saw Ariana react that way, she knew that she could not bring up her suspicions about Sandoval and Raquel's a little bit too close for comfort relationship. She did say, Lola, you don't know, you don't know mine and Tom's relationship. Like, in all fairness, we never see you. But then after whatever happened, the cameras picked back up and we do the rest of the scene. During the conversation, Ariana became upset after learning that her then-boyfriend had lied about, well, lied to her about why he could not skedaddle from a Labor Day celebration. You realize you put me in a position, this is where, with this where people think that I'm a fucking idiot. Lala admitted that she was suspicious as to why Sandoval stayed behind at the party, and she did not think that he was having a full-on affair with Raquel at that time. Months later, Ariana Maddox found out that her boyfriend of nearly 10 years was, in fact, cheating on her. Cheating, having an affair, doing the deed, doing the damn thing when you're hiding it behind everybody's back. I don't know what you thought you were doing, but you got busted. B-U-S-T, busted. 
This is a lot of caffeine today, guys, and I sincerely apologize ahead of time, but I cannot, absolutely cannot help myself. Let's keep it moving. So Scum Duvall or Scan Duvall or Tom Sandoval, whatever you want to call her, Tom Sandoval laughs at how Ariana Maddox discovered Raquel's affair. <laughs> Not funny. Tom Sandoval laughed over how Ariana Maddox found out about his affair with Raquel by seeing a sexually explicit video of her on his phone after it dropped out of his pocket. Here's an original song. Came out the day that my phone infamously fell out of my pocket. That's what he joked while on stage while performing with his cover band Tom Sandoval and the Most Extras in Westbury, New York. Some of the audience members let out a small gasp while others laughed out loud as seen in a video shared to TikTok earlier this week. Users immediately called out Sandoval in the comment section of the now viral video clip with many pointing out his diabolical laugh. No remorse, just jokes, one TikToker added. And that's exactly what it seems like. It seems like you're joking around just a little bit too much. Oh my God, that laugh is evil. Just when you think he can't stoop any lower, he laughs about his actions. It's safe to say he's embracing his villain era. I mean... You guys, when this infamous video or this my phone infamously fell out of my pocket. <laughs> Girl, read the room. Read the room of your two-for-one tickets because it's not necessarily landing. Don't ever apply for your pilot's license, girl, because you're not landing the plane. I'm almost done. The rant is almost over. But it's not yet. Okay. It keeps going. Lala Kent is also sharing how she learned of Tom and Raquel's affair and shares why she thought the cameras got picked back up. She said, Katie Maloney texted me, do you know what's going on? They're saying I can't do Watch What Happens Live, that everyone has to stay in town for the next week and a half. They're picking cameras back up? Lala recalled on the May 3rd episode of Give Them Lala via Heavy. At first, Lala assumed the series had been renewed for an 11th season she said, then I was like, something is wrong. Something happened. I immediately felt it. Because she was concerned about her castmate's health, Lala texted a or producer to ensure that no one had fallen ill. This is real life. These are our real friend groups. I texted him first just to make sure that everyone sa was safe and okay. I didn't know. Was someone diagnosed with a terminal illness? Like, we've never picked cameras back up for any fucking season. Mm. You did this one. After the producer assured Lala that everyone is healthy, she reached out to Sheena Shea, who confirmed to her that Sandoval had been caught having a months-long affair with Raquel. She said, I can't talk right now. And I said, just tell me, is it what I've been suspecting? And she said, yes, but I have to go. You are an investigator. Truly an investigator. La, la, give them la, la, Kent. La, la. Give them la la can't. Guys, go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think. And more importantly, before you go, like the banner says right here, join us for our Banner Pump Rolls after party tonight on Up and Adam Channel 2 at 10 p.m. It's going to be between 10 and 10.35 because we have to figure out if we're waiting for the Katie Maloney Watch What Happens Live appearance. But we'll definitely get to it. So comment below. Let us know all of the thoughts. And before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Love you.